Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am really excited to review for you guys the Target exclusive 10 inch Funko Pop of Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. Oh, and he's got a little piece of packaging around his gauntlet. All right, before I really get into my thoughts on this pop, I just want to show you guys the pop itself with a close-up look at the body and then the head. Just so you can appreciate some of the detail that went into the sculpt of like the chest, especially the costume pieces of the chest and like the, the sculpt on the arms. Uh, just like the paint and sculpt on the boots. And here's just a look at the back side of the figure so you can just see some of the wrinkling on it. And a better look at the Infinity Gauntlet. And also so you guys can just really appreciate the sculpt and the demeanor on this head. Here's just a quick turnaround of the entire head. It's pretty smooth, so not a lot to dissect there. But still, there you go. There is no shortage of Thanos Pops in the world. There's the regular one from the Infinity War line where he's you know got the, the hand open on the gauntlet. There's this big one. There's the Walmart exclusive one where he's like shooting a little yellow, you know, phasing goo out of his hand. Uh, there's the Guardians of the Galaxy 6-inch pop. Uh, there's that Hot Topic one where he's, he's on the little floaty throne. There are a bunch of pops, but out of all the Thanos pops, this one's my favorite. I have the 6-inch Guardians one, and, and I like this one more. Uh, I think the outfit is really cool. I love the sculpt on his head. I like the groove lines going across his ears. Uh, the, the, the actual sculpted uh, eyelid, usually we just get like the, the painted dot with just like a partially painted line on it, but this actually has sculpted eyelids. The furrowed brow's great, um, and the body's really well done. I like the sculpt, again, the lines going down his arms are good, the wrinkle of his shirt, and the paint for the most part is pretty well done. Eyeballs are clean, the paint within his like sinister smile is great. Uh, the Infinity Stones for the most part look pretty good on the gauntlet, the red one is a little slightly off, nothing worth complaining about. The little kind of brownish sections on the gold look good, including the knee pad and the belt area. Assembly is pretty good. There is a slight gap from where the top meets the legs. There's a little bit of gap right there underneath the uh, the belt where it should be connecting a little more and there's slight glue visible, but that's really nothing like noticeable. Like from here, it looks great. Uh, I love the pose. I like the presence on the shelf. This is a great pop and it's a huge pop. I mean, look at it next to my giant head. I've got a giant head. Uh, it, it towers over all the regular sized three and a half inch pops. So uh, I, th I think the presence on the tabletop with all the puny Marvel pops next to it, like Cap and Iron, this is great. Um, it retailed for $29.99, and I think the fact that it's like three times the size of a normal pop, I think three times your average price, works out great. I like this pop of the Mad Titan considerably. I'm very happy with it. Looks rad as hell. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Here are the links.